Hello, this is Tanisha and welcome to the Crown Insight Consulting channel. So today I'm going to be talking to you about what is an example of good website content from a luxury standpoint. So I get a lot of questions from clients that just want to know, what is good website content? Can you explain what are the different aspects, the template or formula that you can use to ensure that you have good website content and to just really have a better understanding of good content. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into this. So when it comes to content, I just, you know, I have to start with a basic definition or, or examples really. But the ultimate best way to help you understand what content is, is just to show you. And that's exactly what I'm gonna get into. So when it comes to content, examples of content could be, it could be website content, web pages, of course, but then there's also videos, there's podcasts, there could be books, there could be social media content, email, so many things. Content is a pretty broad term. And it's very important for a brand to have a content marketing strategy. And so essentially when it comes to the marketing strategy, this is the approach that is focused on creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content that attracts and retains a clearly defined audience. And ultimately, it helps drive a profitable action. So buy now, learn more, shop now. That's just your basic definition. So I'm going to go and get into a few of my favorite websites that I think have superb content. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So just give me a second. Okay, so you're on the Ralph Lauren website and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh this website for you. And I want you to just take a look at this. So of course, typical website, they're gonna hit you with the email capture. You wanna just exit this out and let me just let this play. Okay, so this is their their homepage. And as soon as you hit the homepage, you see the men's category, you see the women's category, you see children's category. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this at the first slide. So let's evaluate this content. Whenever you're on a homepage, and you land above the fold. And so those of you that are not familiar with what I mean by above the fold. So above the fold is anything that is essentially the area where a customer first lands, what they first see before they start scanning down, okay? So literally, and it's interesting too, because above the fold, the above the fold area really depends on the size of your monitor, okay? If you have this huge monitor, then you're gonna see way more, you know? But if you're on mobile, then you're gonna see way less, you know? So it, it really is subjective in terms of what above the fold is. But the point is, this area is essentially what we're seeing and it's really, important that you hook customers as soon as they land on your website. And so that's one of the first rules or formula, templates, you know, when it comes to what is good website content. So the first thing is it needs to hook the customer. And the way you do that is you do it through high quality images. You do it through amazing visuals. And Ralph Lauren definitely does that. You know, they have that, the video. They have the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to let it play again. I might, I might need to reload it. Let me just refresh it. So yeah, look, they have this video. They're going on this <laughs> amazing adventure. It's so exciting, you know? Um, let me just go, go back. Um, yeah, so everything is fast, it's action-packed. It excites you, I have to say. I don't wear men's clothing and I'm excited just by looking at it, okay? So hooking the 
the, the audience is one of the first things that good content does, okay? The other thing that good content does is it's scannable. Website content, it, it, it has to be scannable. It cannot be too lengthy. Unless it's a blog, it should not be too lengthy. Customers, you know, I can tell you from research, from data, customers do not like to read too much. If they have to read too much, then guess what? They're not going to read it. They're going to go elsewhere. So yeah, you want to keep things pretty short, concise, and it's scannable. You know, I can easily see, oh, Polo Ralph Lauren, Wild Coast, Shop Men's. You know, I know enough. Oh, that's the men's category. Like, you know, it's, it's just very easy to read. Um, the other thing is it helps customers to navigate the website. So Ralph Lauren has a lot going on, okay? In terms of all of their product offerings, not only that, Ralph Lauren has micro brands within the Ralph Lauren brand, you know? So it's really important when people come to their webpage, they want their customers to just have some help navigate. So they show, okay, I'm going to pull out some categories, some of the micro brands for men, women, and children, and it just helps customers navigate where they want to go. And you know, they give them some suggestions. They they highlight essentially some categories, and the customer can can choose to go to these categories, or they can go elsewhere. Okay. The other thing is, good content is in a conversational tone. You know, so it's it's easy for the customer to read. It's in a conversational tone, and then good content is also. It doesn't have errors. It doesn't have, you know, grammatical errors, okay? And I know that from working at the corporate office of Ralph Lauren, they have multiple revisions, multiple reviews. There's a lot of eyes on their content before it goes out to the public, okay? So everything from making sure that the images are perfect, don't have blemishes, you know, things are not out of whack or anything like that. It's something that is taken very seriously. Of course, they have copywriters, copy editors. It, it, it's just so many eyes on it. So that really helps to ensure that the quality that comes out is, you know, essentially perfect. The other thing that makes up good content is it has a call to action. So when it comes to content that's above the fold, you have to have a call to action. You have to have a call to action. You know, I have seen um, some websites where when it comes to that above, above the fold area, they just had a nice image, but there was no headline, there was no call to action, there was no language, there was no copy on that area. And that's a really huge mistake. You know, you really are missing a huge opportunity to convert people, okay? To get sales by not having your call to action right in that, that um, above the fold area. It's, it's really important, okay? And if you don't have an e-commerce website, maybe it's just you want your customers to learn more, okay? Maybe you want to um, drive them to another web page where they're going to get educated on something, okay? Or maybe you just want to capture their email. Either way, you want to have a call to action. It's, it's, it's just a prime opportunity in this above the fold space, okay? The other thing that constitutes good content is it's optimized for search engines. So if you look at this content, you know, you see things like shop now, explore men's polos, polo rock on. These are things that are certain terms that a customer may use to search through Google. Now, when it comes to the search engine optimization, you definitely want to be balanced because you don't want to strictly create content for the sake of it being um, search engine optimized because I do feel like it can sacrifice the quality of the content, but you just want to have it balanced. You, you, know, you want to keep that into consideration. Like, for example, is there maybe a certain word that you could use that you know is search engine friendly, you know what I mean? If, if it's possible, then do it, you know? So those are just some things to keep in mind. And I just want to go through the other slides and just show you how they continue with the same formula. So again, they're hooking the reader with a high quality image, okay? You know, they're 
essentially making the content scannable. I know as soon as I look at this, oh, traveler, oh, I get it. You know, I'm assuming that this is all about clothes that you would wear when you're going on vacation or whatever summer destination, you know, you might choose to go to. Okay. It has a conversational tone. It's error free. It includes a call to action, shop now, explore more. It is optimized for search engines. So it says things like explore one of these polos, um, de destination, polo wrap on. Those are all things that would help to optimize this for search engines, okay? And let's go to the third slide here. So I actually wanna play this video. I thought this was a cute video. Let me, it's gonna have to run again. Okay, it, it goes really quickly too. But yeah, I thought this was a really cute video. You see all the kids in the video, they're dancing, they're looking like cool kids because I mean, I know when I was in school, if you were in the elementary school and you had on rock on, you were considered a cool kid. So yeah, these are the cool kids, they're dancing, they're having a dance party. <laughs> So, I mean, it follows, the content follows the same formula. So the video of the kids dancing is super cute. It definitely gets your attention, okay? And it, the content is scannable, summer sport. I know all that I need to know. If you're looking for sportswear for your kids for the summer, this is the category for you. Shop boys, shop girls. It has a call to action. It has a conversational tone. It's error-free. The reality is punctuation errors grammatical errors, spelling errors, they're distracting. You don't want to distract your customers, you know? So it's really important to come up with a process so that you can make sure that your content is error-free. And it's optimized for search engines. So yeah, you know, summer sport, shop girls, shop boys, polo by foreign. Those are all terms that people would use to search um, and things like Google and, and various search engines. So I'm going to just continue down this homepage and let me scroll up. I went a little too far. So as you continue to scroll down on this homepage, they just really, Ralph Lauren just focuses in even more on some of those categories that were highlighted in the above the fold area of the homepage. So the women's category. So it's showing you another product. So this is an example of, you know, a really stylish bomber jacket. And then if you look over, you have Polo Kids, it's showing you another example of an outfit. And if you keep scrolling, you just see more outfits for boys and for girls, okay? And as you continue to scroll down, so it kind of gets more into some personalization um, that a customer would have if they, if they sign in to the website. And as you scroll down, you're just gonna see even more um, just, products and in different categories so boy sweatshirts and men's sweatshirts pants and you know what I find really interesting is that Ralph Lauren stuck to the same theme because sometimes what you find in websites is different sections will have different themes so just because we were showed um you know the different categories above the fold, that doesn't mean that as you scroll, you will continue to see those same categories. A lot of times, brands like Ralph Lauren might use to introduce new categories. They might use it to introduce home. They might use, you know, but it's very interesting that they just stick kind of with that theme, at least up to here. Now, as you continue to scroll down, they do kind of get into different categories because Rock One has a lot of different categories. I mean, they have men, women, kids, baby, home. They have like um, more, um, even like a higher elevated brand, purple label. They, I mean, they sell glasses, they sell paint, they sell so many different things. So they can really speak to a lot on their homepage, you know? So they just really go into a lot of, you know, exploring more of the different categories, as you can see, as you continue down their website. Basically, they have a lot to talk about. But nonetheless, if you notice, each of these pieces of content continue with that theme. So even just looking at home, it hooks you. The imagery is just beautiful. It's strapped in gorgeous. So it gets your attention. 
okay? So it hooks you with that high quality image. You know, it is scannable, summer entertaining. Warm weather is the perfect invitation for an intimate gathering outdoors. So it tells you all you need to know. If you're looking for home items, furniture, decor for summer entertaining, this is the category for you. It has the call to action, shop now, okay? It's, again, it's scannable, okay? So it's this formula, essentially, that you can start to see that it's used again and again. You have your, your headline, okay, that really just is, it's concise, it's to the point. Some are entertaining. You know all you need to know, you know? And then it just continues on and on. Like I said, they sell watches. They have like things like Purple Label Collection, which really is that elevated, um, even more elevated brand. So this is just an example of good content on the Rockland website. So I do want to continue. So let's go to Apple. And I want to refresh this page just because there's really cool features that I want you to see. So this is a homepage that Ralph, excuse me, not Ralph Lauren. <laughs> this is a homepage that Apple did. So Apple did when they released the iPhone 11 and they did this homepage with a special arcade theme. And it's really cool. So one thing that companies like Apple does is they're very, very big on having interactive content, content that is consistent of videos or just things that are really next level that you really have never seen before. I mean, look at this. How cool is that? How cool is that? Okay. So as you continue to scroll down this homepage, you're going to just see different interactive features. So this is what you would call like an elevated experience, an elevated type of content. Yeah, and as you scroll, like, look, as you see, you see even more, even more just interactive, next level, really, really cool, I have to say. If this doesn't get you excited, you know, about content, I don't know what it does. But so let me scroll back up because I want to just go over the same template that I was speaking to when we were looking at the Ralph Lauren page. So again, the first thing the content does is it, hook, it hooks you. It hooks you with high quality imagery. It hooks you with interactive imagery. It hooks you by getting to the point, being concise, being scannable, easy to navigate, you know. Um, avoiding spelling and grammatical errors. It has a conversational tone, iPhone 11, just the right amount of everything, okay? And then it has a call to action. Do you want to learn more about the phone or do you just want to buy it now and put it in your cart? <laughs> so as you can see, it's, it's that same theme. It's that same kind of theme. Um, and the one thing I just cannot stress enough is how important the visuals are on your homepage on or just throughout your website, especially, especially if you are an e-commerce B2C website, okay? You have to have, make sure you have high quality imagery. They're not granny, excuse me, they're not grainy, they're not pixelated. You want to have high quality imagery, okay? It really makes the difference. It really makes the difference. So yeah. I mean, we just see the same hooks you, you know, as we continue to scroll, we see that same formula. It hooks you. It's scannable. High quality imagery. Okay. It, it, it makes your website easy to navigate as well. It just, you know, because Apple is highlighting for you. These are the things that are on our website that we're highlighting for you, you know, and then you have your call to action. Learn more. Buy now shop now. Okay. And then it's also optimized for search engines. So things like MacBook Pro 16 inch model, that's how people are going to search for it. Okay. So the new iPad, that's how people are going to search for it from Apple, you know, so it's also optimized for search 
entrance. That's also important. So I'm going to get to the next and final, the next and final website. And that's going to be from Kate Spade. So Kate, Kate Spade is another luxury brand that I think they, they always get it right when it comes to their content and they go above and beyond. And so this one is just really straight to the point because they're having a sale. 30% off. I don't know what hooks you more than a sale, especially a sale at a luxury brand. That, that is going to hook anybody. And 30% off, that's great. So I think when it comes to um, this piece of content, that's pretty straightforward. But again, even though it's sale, they still follow that same formula. They hooked you just with the sale. <laughs> it has a call to action, okay? And it's also optimized for SEL. Kate Spade sell, you know, that's how people are going to search. Okay. And then as we continue to scroll through the homepage, you, you still see the content has high quality content. Okay. It helps you to navigate the website by just calling out certain highlights and features of, of different, the different categories that they offer. Okay. And even just looking at this, so really following that same formula beautiful visuals, beautiful uses of color, okay? Getting straight to the point, it's scannable. <laughs> and it's clever. Get back in the saddle bag, okay? Shop not, you know? So you know that, up. Oh, I'm getting ready to see a collection of bags, okay? Or new spade flower jaguar. So I know that if I go on the, in this category, I'm probably going to see a, a, a collection of jaguar dresses or bags or, you know, maybe something like that. But again, it's just, you, you let the imagery do the work, you make sure it's scannable, you make sure it's in a fun conversational tone. I mean, it really depends on what is the, the personality or the, the brand for your company. You know, not everyone's brand is going to be like a fun type of, type, type of thing. Maybe it might be a little more serious, but I mean, it depends. Kate Spade is pretty unique. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, as you can see, you just start to see the same formula that they use, you know, even just scrolling down the page, you make sure you have your call to actions. Yeah. I mean, beautiful, beautiful imagery. Just, it just excites you. You know, when you go on here, <laughs> it excites you to shop. Okay. So I hope that this helped you understand what is an example of good content and definitely, definitely visit these websites yourself and check it out in further detail. Go back and rewatch this video and take notes on what makes up good content so that you can then start to use some of these same formulas and be on the lookout for them. When you go to different websites, look and see if you can see this same approach, you know, this same template formula that they follow for content. And if you follow this formula, you are going to be on your way to creating good content. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a like, please share it with someone that you think would benefit from this. <laughs> Thank you. And I will see you soon.